every time I, I record a video, man, every time I always just, as soon as I go, all right, guys, what's up? I get right in my head. I'm like, wow, I sound stupid. But it's really not that stupid. I don't know why I get. <sighs> it really doesn't even matter. Anyways. All right, guys, I just got home from work. I got a belly full of Chinese food. I just crushed a Dr. Pepper. And I'm going to watch this Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged trailer. Uh, it came out eight hours ago, as you can see. Technically, I have watched it. Just not like... I watched it at work, in a meeting, like on a tiny screen with no sound. And it was all in the first thing in the morning. This will be like the real watching. I'm sure there's plenty. Of, I probably forgot like half of it already. So I'm going to really watch it now and just do a little reaction slash just thoughts on it. Because I'm excited because I never really covered it on this channel because I don't have, I didn't have time. So I was working a ton back then, but I fucking love Hot Wheels Unleashed. That's hands down probably one of my favorite games of the generation one of my favorite games of like the past 10 years it's i know it's probably sounds ridiculous but i love that game so much it's such like a it's, it's actually like become almost nostalgic now for me even though i i was probably less than a year ago that they stopped putting dlc out for it and i stopped playing it um i just love that game it's so much fun uh, i have the platinum trophy for it which you know <laughs> uh Oh, I love Hot Wheels Unleashed. It's so yeah, it's so good. It's such a gem. Underrated. Um, so let's just start watching the trailer because I don't want to talk more after the trailer. But um, don't worry about the little cutoff on the side. You're, you're, you're getting the full trailer. I just have an ultra-wide monitor. So the sides of the video may look like they're getting cut off from the video bar right here. But it's just black on the side. So you're, getting, you're, still, you're seeing the full video minus my little head cam up on the top right. All right, let's just fucking start this shit. Hot Wheels, built to perform better and look cooler. Take racing to new heights. Jump, stunt, crash. Now the fun begins. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Taking it back to the OG track in the game. <clears throat> Already love this. This is just a lot a lot of what you've got in the first game. Uh, and then the double jump. Oh. That's a pretty funny bit in the trailer, actually. So this is all the new stuff. This looks so cool. The fact that we can race outside now is going to be so awesome. There wasn't really any outside racing. I don't know. There was no outside environment in the first one. And motorcycles. And there's going to be ATVs you'll see in a second. The side swiping, that's going to be cool. I love the motorcycles. Jump, that looks really cool. I'm sure you'll never actually do that in the game. I feel like that's rarely going to happen where someone tries to side swipe you, you jump over them. That feels like too too much of a perfect moment, but I love the idea of it. Sandbox things, I seems like there's going to be a lot more off-roading in this. Oh man, I'm right into the kitchen. So if there's going to be tracks that go inside out and back inside, if that's what this trailer's saying, which I'm assuming is what it is saying, that's yeah, going to be primo. That's going to be so cool. Fucking 10, 19. So a quick little trailer there. This shit dropped. I'm just going to leave it on this screen for now. Um, This shit dropped out of the fucking blue today. This really took me by surprise. Probably more than anything out of the uh, PlayStation showcase that just happened. Uh, I just... the Our first game came out in October two years ago. 2021. It's been two years. That's it. Like, games nowadays, sequels take fucking, like, a decade to make. I mean, most modern games take forever to make their sequels. Now, obviously, this game is using, it's going to be on all platforms you can see here. It's going to be on everything, which is unfortunate. I'm pretty disappointed about that. I was hoping, when I hoped for a sequel for this game, I was hoping that they would just make it on the new consoles only. Just because the game is really pretty, and I feel like it could be so much cooler if they just made it just for the new consoles. Uh, but, of course, you know, they got to make it for the Switch, for all the kiddies and everything. 
so obviously this game is using the same engine as the last game and everything and a lot of the same assets so that, so that probably made it easier for them to develop it quicker uh, and they were putting out content for the last one up until like probably a year ago maybe less than a year ago i feel like it, that they had a jurassic world season and a bugs bunny like Looney Tunes expansion that came out around the same time like a year ago i feel like though i don't exactly know when and then they just went dead after that they went completely cold went dark um, and I was surprised when that happened because they were really steady and consistent with a lot of DLC for that game. It's with season, battle pass seasons, expansions, cars, and stuff. And so when they went dark out of the blue like that, I was like, whoa, are they gonna, gonna, are they working on a sequel? Is that why? That's what, that was my hope. But I was also like, I don't know, this game didn't get like a huge amount of buzz. Like it definitely, like people played it and it definitely got some buzz, but not like a huge amount. So I was like, is it gonna be enough for a sequel? I really hope so. And they just fucking dropped this out of the blue today. And I'm not ready. Dude, this year's been nuts with games releases. Like, good game releases. And, I mean, LEGO 2K Drive just came out. Like, a few weeks, couple weeks ago. And I've been playing that. And I want Platinum that. So, I got to do that before this comes out. It's just, oh my god. But I'm so excited. I just can't believe it's got a sequel. I really, I was, I'm gonna play some of the video while I talk. Jump, stunt, crash. Now the I'm just gonna mute it for myself. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I really didn't think it was gonna be a sequel. Was, I'm so happy because this is really this one is really one of my favorite games. Uh, I have so many. I already have so many good memories playing that game. Yo, watch this flip. Whoa, whoa. And I love that this is this feels like a proper sequel to me, minus the fact that there'll probably be no graphical upgrade because it's gonna be on all consoles again on both last gen and current gen this feels like a sequel to me because they're adding like a lot of new stuff like this doesn't like so i know i saw some comments people complaining that this is just like an expansion but i mean hypothetically when you think about it anything in gaming could be an expansion like it doesn't like you know world of warcraft's been an expansion for over a decade now um but this really warrants a sequel to me for me at least because it's adding new mechanics adding double jumping which is, you know they're not huge but together i mean double jumping the swiping the fact that you can like swiping other cars uh is big the fact that you're going outside they're adding out new environments outside environments transition between outside and inside they're adding new vehicle types the new mechanics i mean all that to me adds up to warrant a sequel like that's what you want in a sequel it doesn't have to be a completely different game for it to warrant a sequel it could be the base same game with just new cool improvements such as that that were that at the core which core new improvements that weren't in the first one um Similar to like, uh, what do you call it? Tears of the Kingdom. So I'm really excited. I saw, I saw some some haters. I saw some haters out there. I saw you. you better watch yourself, dude. I better watch it. I, I was I was on the Game Informer and the uh, uh, long day. The Game Informer IGN post for this. And I was looking at the comments and there was it was pretty much all just hate for this. There everybody was like this game sucked. Why is it getting the sequel? I mean just you know this game rocked. So fuck all you guys. I'm so excited for this. A lot of people were saying that the first game was too hard in the comments, and I was like, that's crazy, because I'm not good at video games. Like, I'm not someone who plays games on super hard difficulties. The hardest I'll play a game on is, like, normal, usually. But I got the platinum in this. I beat all the time trials. Like, I mean, it took a lot of work. I mean, it's not like, you know, I didn't do it with no, without breaking a sweat, but I was, just, I was surprised to see how many people said they gave up on the game because the time trials were too hard. Which is crazy, too, because the time trials aren't even, like, there's so much else to the game than the time trials. I don't know why you give up just because of one small aspect of the game. Another cool thing I read on their website is that with the inclusion of the, uh, the crash and swipe can't thing, you know, this, um, they're going to add a battle mode, I believe. I can actually just go on the Hot Wheel Unleashed to the website. I believe... They're adding like a battle mode to it. Yeah. Um, I wonder if you can see it over here. Oh, no, that's not it, huh? Okay, fine. Give me the cookies, bro. Yeah, so look at these are the new locations. Backyard, arcade, come on. Mini golf course, a diner. This is like my life. All of the happiest things in my life are in one game. And it's Dinosaur Museum. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know. This is just like generic. Thing, like they had in the first one but um god like all these new locations dude they're gonna be sick 
Oh, so this is what they're adding. It obviously has quick grace time attack again. Split screen again, two players split screen, love that. Uh, new modes like grab the gear and there's gonna be a clash derby and elimination. So I think that comes with the um, the new crashing mechanic. So it's gonna be like battle battle type modes, um, which I saw and was very excited about. Oh, so the ones in blue are offline only modes. The ones in online are online only modes. And the ones that have both are both. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. Oh, there's gonna be a new story mode in this, they said, with characters. That's the only thing I'm questionable about. Um, I was totally fine with the on the no narrative campaign of the first one. I thought it, it did exactly what I needed it to do. It just served as a vessel for me to play the game and unlock stuff and unlock trophies and do all this stuff and just have fun. I don't know that I need a narrative with characters to follow. I have a feeling that they're going to be really bad and they're going to be really like cheesy, like shoehorned kind of characters like a lot of modern things are nowadays or at least it feels that way um but i'm not gonna get too pessimistic about it just yet because i don't we don't know anything about it and i feel like they did such a good job with the game that i have confidence in the developers and not shit the bed on that but i just hope it's not like too shitty like i hope that doesn't impact it um but thankfully you know the gameplay is what's the most important in this game like this Oh, and custom car customization is coming back. I think they are... I don't know if they're doing any improvements. Oh, you can make your own decals. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of new features in this. I think it's totally warrants a sequel. I'm fucking jacked. In October? So soon, dude. This is just like one of those out of the blue, like, hey, guys. <clears throat> this is like... This, this game announcement for me today was like if I was walked on the subway station and some really pretty girl tapped me on the shoulder and I turned and I was like, oh my god. And then she just ducked and the fucking... The Rock just came out and punched me out of nowhere. That's what this felt like today when I saw this in the meeting. I was like, oh my god, where am I? There you go. I just wanted to do some rambling and then reacting to the uh, the announcement and trailer for Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged because I'm so effing jacked for this game. Uh, I'm scared because there's so many good games coming out this year that I, uh, I just, I'm like, fuck, gotta make time for this. Lego 2K Drive is so good. And I want, this is a video isn't about that, but Lego 2K Drive is so good. And I want to platinum it, but I need to do that before this comes out. So I'm not like overwhelmed with arcade racers. That's it, man. I am so excited for this. Let me know what you thought of the trailer in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of the trailer. If you're excited for the sequel, if you played the first one, you liked it. Just, let's have a full on Hot Wheels Unleashed love fest down there because the game deserves it. Give this video a like if you liked the video, of course. Subscribe for more gaming stuff. I'm trying to think of a clever way to outro this with that involves Hot Wheels. Ugh. Work, brain, tired, dead, adjectives, pronouns, nouns, oh. Thank you for watching this video. No, we're not bringing the cigarette back in. It's not, it's not a returning pro. A candy cigarette. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the, the trailer like I did. And uh, go out there, play some games, have some fun, and I'll see you next time.